Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm back again with another boxing video. And as I start my videos, I always allude to referencing and thinking. And once again, I was trying to just mulling over a few things. Now, the current state of the welterweight division, as it is right now, who are the big names? Now, when I say big names, I mean who makes the most moolah. And as we, as it, like I said, as it currently stands, it's Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather Jr. Okay, so who would you consider runner-up? I mean, instinctively, one would have to say Timothy Bradley, based on the fact that he defeated Manny Pacquiao. All right, despite what you've seen, a loss is a loss is a loss. All right, and it's almost a double standard in some cases when it, in, in terms of in terms of Bradley's win over Manny Pacquiao. You know, I think if Mayweather is gonna is to come back, <laughs> say he does stay away from 154 pounds, meaning he's staying away from Canelo Alvarez and staying away from uh, Sergio Martinez, not ducking just kind of staying away for the time being because I don't really want to see Mayweather stuck at 154 pounds but let's say he does go back down to 147 and he calls out Timothy Bradley in my opinion which is the most logical choice at this point especially for a comeback fight I mean it's smart business wise for the Mayweather camp I mean Bradley has a win over Pacquiao like I said no matter what you think you saw if Mayweather beats Bradley which is almost guaranteed then he doesn't have to fight Pacquiao because he beat the guy who beat him. You know, or it'll give Mayweather more ammunition when he's going into negotiations for a future Pacquiao fight and he can come out with a larger chunk of the purse because Mayweather beat Timothy Bradley and Timothy Bradley beat Manny Pacquiao. Um, plus, I guess you would also have to consider... What Manny Pacquiao said on ESPN first take about he's willing to take the lower percentage of the purse. He would take 45. Mayweather would take 55. Well, it's pretty much a given then, basically. Like, if Mayweather beats Timothy Bradley, then Pacquiao would have no choice but to take the lower percentage of the purse because he has a loss on his, another loss on his record. So it would be 45-45, but I believe it can go, it can be even worse. It can be 65-35, and I think that's even fair for Mayweather because... As I said, he beat the man who beat the man. Bradley on paper is a legitimate fight. That way, that all the all the talk about Sergio Martinez versus Mayweather that would just kind of just fade away into obscurity or being buried somewhere in oblivion. He pretty much Mayweather would pretty much be killing two birds with one stone. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily consider Martinez a threat. I mean, it'd be a challenging fight, but I think Mayweather would just would eventually would win. Later on, down the he would he would be I would guess you could say, the fight would be more so in Mayweather. The momentum would swing in the Mayweather's favor to where the a fight, the fight with Martinez would it would look clear who the more definitive winner would be, and I believe it would be would be Mayweather. You know, uh, shit. I don't know because I'm not sure the argument with Mayweather was that he always go fights guys who have pretty much or feather fisted or who doesn't really have too much to offer in terms of challenge even though I do believe that Mayweather would probably end up smoking Bradley inside of eight or nine rounds like with no problem at all you know it's it's a fairly easy fight it but it has potential to be a it has potential to be a super fight because I believe because if Golden Boy would definitely feed on the whole Bradley beat Pacquiao. So essentially, Bradley would be the new Pacquiao. I guess you can say. I'm sure they would shoot for stuff like that. Now, I'm not. I'm not saying I believe it. I'm just saying in terms of marketing the fight, that's how they would present the package to everyone. Like, oh, Bradley beat Pacquiao. That automatically makes him the new cash cow of boxing. I guess you know. I guess you could say. And Mayweather would be there to beat him. So that way, if he does go into a Pacquiao negotiation, blah, 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 as I said before, the aforementioned, um, you know, Timothy Bradley does have some 
his boxing is decent, you know. I call him Megamind, you know, if anyone has seen the movie Megamind, he pretty much looks like a splitting image of Megamind. You know, if he's not really, if he's not throwing that big dome of his into the mix with every combination, and he slaps a lot too, if you notice, when he throws his punches, they're very, they, they look like they're strong coming around, but they his, his wrist always has a tendency to bend, to look like he's going to snap his wrist and throwing a punch incorrectly, and he always lands with like the... Like the the heel of his palm, it's it's really really awkward and peculiar. You know, uh, Tim Timothy Bradley had trouble with guys like Kendall Holt. You know, especially counter punch. Kendall Holt is a counter puncher, and it, there is a very very strong chance that Mayweather, who is a better counter puncher than Kendall Holt, could stop him. But all in all, I guess, the, the bigger question would be, would Bob Arum even allow the fight to happen if Mayweather threw it out there for Bradley? Like, yeah, I want to fight Bradley, you know, because that would be an ultimate kick in the face to Manny Pacquiao. And I believe that Bob Arum probably wouldn't even let it happen. So it depends on Timothy Bradley's fight contract. Was it a fight con Was it a one fight contract with Pacquiao since... I believe that there is a rematch clause in the whole Pacquiao skirmish where Pacquiao pretty much keeps Timothy Bradley on the back burner as a top-ranked fighter, so he really can't get into any other fights unless it's with a top-ranked fighter until Pacquiao decides it's the right time to choose Timothy Bradley as opponent and fight him again. So I'm sure there's some type of bullshit clause in the contract that prohibits Timothy Bradley from taking on anyone else. But I believe that if Timothy Bradley really wanted to fight with Mayweather, he could pretty much back Aram into a corner and tell him, like, hey, I beat Pacquiao. You know, you're not giving me any fights. Let me take this fight. Just promote it, and you can go on from there. Because Bre- Aram can easily turn this quote-unquote, you know, bullshit fight into something way bigger than what it'll ever be. You know, it's it's... Technically, it would be a fan fight, not so much a fight that actually ha- that didn't, it needs to happen. I mean, it needs to happen for the sport, but in the minds of a lot of people, you are you already know that the the only fights that people want to see Mayweather in are the ones that pretty that that have a chance of him losing, which would be Canelo, Martinez, Manny Pacquiao. Other than that, there's really no one else out there. You know, despite that, people will evenly. Probably the distribution between people who want to see Mayweather fight and people who want to see Mayweather lose would be interested in seeing Timothy Bradley because they would completely forget about the whole Pacquiao thing and they'll feel that, oh, Timothy Bradley was probably the only opponent that Pacquiao has faced that actually put up a fight against him in a weight class where he wasn't drained. It was a legitimate, it was a maximum weight limit for 147. Then you can, then they probably end up saying that, oh, Mayweather went to jail. Oh, Mayweather hasn't fought at 147 and they'll put the whole the timeline there just to give people the incentive to believe you know that Timothy Bradley actually has a chance in beating Floyd so there's a lot of backstory that people will throw into this to actually make it seem feasible enough that Timothy Bradley has a chance of winning I personally don't believe it obviously people I'm sure everyone who listens to this don't believe it you know because Bradley is a paper champion you know, everything Bradley does in terms of fighting, it looks good on paper. You know, there's a lot of other opponents out there Bradley could be facing that probably top rank, you know, prevents him from going after. You know, all in all, the fight <laughs> needs to happen. You know, it'd be, a like I said in the beginning of the video, it's a great fight business-wise. It's a great fight for Mayweather. It'll be a great chance to actually give him more ammunition going into a Pacquiao negotiation, you know, he needs to stay away from Canelo, you know, stay away from guys like Martinez unless he feels confident enough to beat him, stuff like that. I just feel sorry for Manny Pacquiao, who doesn't really have too many options after Marquez. The only other option would be the man in question, Timothy Bradley. But Mayweather has all the options in the world, despite my opinion on him. But anyways, speaking of opinions, I want to hear what you guys have to say. You know, like, dislike, rate, flame, incite a flame war, you know, in the comments. I don't give a damn. But until then, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Peace.